welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a long overdue September haul video. You guys, I was almost planning on skipping this, but I had a basket full of stuff and I was like, okay, let me just quickly sit down and film this in case anyone's interested and I can get it uploaded and then I can put this stuff away. So yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff. So let's start with what I actually have in my hands right now. I was so curious about these brushes from Real Techniques. This is what they look like. They're called the Brush Crush Brushes from Real Techniques and it says Rulers of the Skies, Buff Blend and Spotlight. So there's three brushes here and it came with this sponge which is called this Cosmic Sponge. I actually really like this sponge. I like it so much. I actually bought more of them. I think there's some behind me so I'll show you when I get to it. And then the 300 powder brush really interests me. There is also this 308 blend brush, which is kind of an interesting brush. I don't really know exactly what it's for. And then this one is called the Eye Perfecting, which has a pointed cut design to apply liquid glitters. I have not used this one yet, so I will put that to the test. I do like this brush and the packaging really sucked me in with these guys. The buff or the blend brush. Not really sure what this is about, but this is the only thing that was available at the time I placed my Alta order. It was just the sets you couldn't buy the individual brushes. But then recently I did place a Real Techniques order and I did pick up more of them. And this is the one I really had my eye on. This is the Brush Crush Kabuki for all over application and this is a limited edition brush. It just looked so interesting. I don't really have anything like this or I haven't really bought anything like this in a long time. I know they sent out these brushes to a bunch of people from Octoly um, and I saw Samantha March use this and she was like, oh my gosh, this is really fun. But it just looked cool and I wanted to see it for myself. So um, yeah, I don't know if I'll just use this like to display. It's adorable. I don't know you guys. I'm probably nuts. You probably think I'm crazy, but it just totally sucked me in. And then these brushes too, um, from Real Techniques, I just loved the colors. So these are their everyday essentials for blush, foundation, shadow, highlight, and concealer. And there's a sponge as well. I think I pretty much have all of these brushes. I was just really interested in the ferals because they were all these like beautiful pastel -y colors and then I also saw this guy and I was like these are cool right like what are these and they're like these rebel edge trio for bronzer shadow and highlighter I totally understand the highlighter and bronzer concept but I'm a little confused about how you would use these to apply eyeshadow but they just look so cool and I was like what the heck is this oh my gosh I'm like breaking things this is like taped in here how cool is this like I can totally see myself loving this for bronzer so really different this is the eyeshadow brush I'm not really sure like what you would do with the eyeshadow and then the highlighter one also looks amazing so this is I'm guessing the highlighter and I think that would be they're like half a fan brush but I know I'm gonna love this for bronzer. So yeah, those are some of the brushes I picked up from Real Techniques this month. Okay, so Alta is having a sale of their Alta brand and I love picking these up. This is the Alta Z Palette brand, like empty palettes and I love getting these because they always have a sale where they do buy two, get two free. So you're essentially paying like $10 per one of these. So I always like to stock up and just keep some extras I haven't really bought any single shadows recently, but I figure if I have them on hand, I can use them to put stuff in. So I really like these. This is the perfect size for me because I can create like custom palettes and I usually keep my singles organized by brand. So I know recently I saw somebody asking like, what's a solid, you know, Z palette or a single palette to store your single shadows in? And I totally recommend this because Honestly, that price point, you can't beat it. Okay, and then here are those Real Techniques Cosmic Sponges. I totally bought more of them because I love how soft they are. They remind me of the Flower Beauty Sponge because they're that kind of texture. And the ball shape actually doesn't bother me. It really squishes down and really gets in 
to every part of your face. So I really do like these. The other purchase I made that I have been thoroughly enjoying is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I just tried out this new shade they came out with, which is 8.5. I tried to get shade matched at Charlotte Tilbury a while ago and they have the shade 8 and she had a shade called 9. She didn't have one called 8.5. The one was too light, the one was too orange, and this one actually works really well for me, so I've really been enjoying this foundation. I know a lot of people love Charlotte Tilbury's quality. This is my first time really trying out any of our foundations. I really, really want to try one of her blushes, and she's also come out with these new lipsticks, and I'm just like, Karen, you don't need anything, so I haven't bought anything from her. I'm hoping it'll come to Sephora maybe, and I can just pick it up on a sale, but for right now, I'm just really enjoying this foundation and full coverage demi matte long lasting foundation this is enriched with hyaluronic acid and has a concentrated power of vitamin c skin is moisturized dewy and pores appear minimized so this is supposed to be you know good coverage and i've really used up quite a bit of this i'm like about half like one third of the bottle which is great because i need to use my stuff more because i'm always buying and i always want to try and use my stuff and I also picked this up. I'm so excited. This is the Charlotte Genius Magic Powder under eye and face. There have been so many new setting powders that have come out and this is one I've been thoroughly enjoying. I've heard nothing but good things about her pressed powder, but this is a newer product. So I decided to get the setting powder instead of the pressed. I've just made such a mess in here, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't use that much setting powder, but I really like this. It's really good for under my eyes because I have pretty dry skin anyway. And it says, a genius light diffusing loose powder that blurs, visibly reduces dark shadows and boosts radiance. Use all over face matching skin tone for an enhanced complexion. I really like this. I bought the shade medium. Yeah, number two fair, and then there's a one I think that's a light. And then there's another more brown shade. So I really like this and I hope to continue using this. So very excited about it. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with me, but I've actually kind of been liking Too Faced recently. So I did pick this guy up. This is so cute. This is their The Sweet Smell of Christmas Christmas Treats Liquefied Lipstick Set. So I tried this one shade out. This is called Hot Butter Rum. And I just was curious about this formula because I've heard some good things about it. And then Macy's was doing like 15% off all their beauty stuff and I decided to snag it because, you know, anyone who doesn't like a good sale, I'm just saying. And this packaging is adorable. So this is one of the holiday sets I picked up so far. I have been buying holiday stuff here and there, but nothing too crazy just yet. I'm trying to wait for a sale. These are so cute. I don't know that I love the formula. I need to test it out some more. The one that I did buy was very drying, which is kind of shocking because I usually like, like Kat Von D and this one did feel pretty dry, so I'm going to keep trying them out. Like I said, I'd only tried the one shade, but very, very cute set for the holidays. Okay, the next thing I picked up, this was totally a spur of the moment thing. I'm not even sure if I want to keep this because I have just been buying so many tools lately, but this is the Beauty Blender holiday set. I don't usually pick these things up, but I was so, so like interested in the packaging. And so it's so beautiful. It opens like this and it comes with four sponges in four shades. And then there's the matching little solid, which I love. I just really love the crazy sprinkles that they went with and stuff like that. It's just such cute presentation. And there's definitely like a hint of peppermint coming from this. So if you guys are interested, it's a decent deal. You do get decent value for money with this. And what a great find for like a stocking stuffer or a gift for one of your makeup loving friends or you could even split these up and do like stockings with them so I love it. Okay so the next thing I purchased in September is of course the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 palette. I've really been liking this palette you guys. I've already reviewed it on my channel and we're actually going to do a project pan. Me, Melissa Gold and Kat from Rent Fashion and of course Georgia Harris also said she was going to join us and do this project pan. So we're, we're creating a movement, you guys. So if you have a Pat McGrath palette and you want to try and pan it, definitely let us know because we'd love for you to join our project. And I must say, I haven't actually been using this since I did my review because I kept it all in a pile to do this video. So once I'm done filming this video, I'm going to place it on my vanity and try and make an effort to at least use this once a week. 
It's a year-long project pan. I'm really hoping I can make some progress because I've gotten a lot of well wishes from my subscribers and it's so nice because it's really, really encouraging. And I do like this. I have seen some people pick this palette up recently and they talk about how they don't like the shimmer fallout. My number one tip with this palette is use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. It'll hold all those special shades, all those shimmers down on your eyes and give you a really positive experience with this palette because it is spendy and I think it's totally worth it. So yeah, I've seen a few like people kind of like on the fence about it and I'm like, no girl, just use the glitter glue, you'll be good to go. Okay, so the next fun thing I picked up, I did a little like first impressions video on this is this collab with Sephora Collection and the Ice Cream Museum. I guess there's an ice cream museum in LA. In case you guys live in LA, you probably know what the heck I'm talking about. And I bought this brush set because I thought the brush set was uber cute. Uh, people have asked me if the sprinkles shake in here. No, they're pretty firmly in there so they don't move around but they're so cute. These brushes are really soft but I think they would be good for like, you know, dusting on some powder and this and that. So far I'm just using it for display. But this clutch, you guys, I can't believe I'm like trying to sell you guys a clutch on a, like a beauty video. But it's so cute and like... The sprinkles just shake and it's plastic and you can fit, like I can fit my phone in here, easily some credit cards and like the Kleenex and a lipstick and I'm good to go and it's just like so cute for the holiday season. I don't own anything like it and I love it so much so I had to tell you guys about it. It's kind of worth the splurge if you're interested in something unique like this. Okay so ColourPop. I did pick up the Good Sport palette. I don't know if I should do a dedicated video on this but I actually really love this palette. Oh my goodness. I almost wish that I could not buy any other palettes and keep using this one, but I'm so like interested in all the palettes that I have a hard time saying no, but this palette is so good. So if you're balling on a budget and you want to buy like one palette for the fall, I would totally recommend this. This shade EBB is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And I love the mattes. They're really beautiful. The pigmentation is insane. This shade Rookie is like a bronze with like a purple like hint of a duochrome so just a gorgeous palette you guys know ColourPop I just can't with them I was doing a really good job I have been keeping an eye on my eyeshadow palette collection and I actually did do some decluttering and I actually got rid of five ColourPop palettes so I'm very proud of myself I feel like I filmed a collection video and showed you all the ColourPop palettes I'd hoarded for this long and then I was like, you know what Karen, it's such a waste, they deserve a good home. So somebody actually bought, I somebody bought the Zodiac palette for me because I didn't like the Kathleen Lights palette. So if you're looking for a review on that particular one, I'm sorry, I don't have it anymore. And then I got rid of like the Holiday palette from last year and a few others just because they weren't getting used and then it made more room for me to buy new things. So I did actually buy the Disney Princess palette. I couldn't help myself. It's so cute. Like Georgia Harris says, they're selling me back my childhood and this palette is so boring. <laughs> like just looking at it, I'm like, these shades are so boring. Like they could have done so much more. Like they should have drawn inspiration from some of the colors that these Disney princesses are wearing, but I think they just tried to cater to a wide variety of people. The lipstick packaging is so cute. I was so tempted to get all of them, but you know what? I knew I was gonna wear half of those shades, but I did pick up Belle because she is my favorite Disney princess, and I'm so glad they had like a decent wearable color. This component is so nice. It's actually weighted. It feels really, really good, and yeah, I would totally wear this color. So I'm happy I got my hands on it and it's so cute. Okay, so the next things I got, I was waiting for these for a while, but I'm so happy they're here. They are like the trichrome pigments from Blush Drive. Now Blush Drive is a UK based brand. I'm so excited because I just bought their Fall Fusion palette as well as the Hasina 2 palette, but here are, I haven't opened all of these and they're like sealed, but let me see if I can show you a swatch of this one shade or like it's a very 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 much a loose pigment but I don't know if you guys will be able to see it there's like definitely like a hint of blue and purple in here I don't know what I'm going to do with these exactly I just kind of wanted them so there is one of the shades 
and I think she stopped selling these particular ones. She wanted to have more unique colors, so I think she's going to sell some different ones from now on, but I picked those up and I'm going to do something with them. We'll see what I end up coming up with. Okay, so the next thing I did pick up is the KKW Classic Palette. Now, I will only buy her eyeshadow palettes on sale, and I'm okay with that because at least I can get the shipping reduced. I kind of just feel like collecting these now because I kind of have my eye on the Cherry Blossom one. But yeah, there's like three shimmer shades, everything else is matte, and I feel like this is just like one of those easy everyday palettes. So yeah, I think this is my first time actually taking it out of the packaging. It is it's pretty boring. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit terrified to see if these shades will actually show up on my skin tone. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing like a wear test or some kind of like get ready with me where I use it to see if I actually enjoy the formula. I also picked up these from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. These are the Monsieur Big Mascaras by Lancome. I actually really like, I've tried these in samples and so I bought two of the full sizes and I actually had one I was sitting in my mascara drawer and I pulled it up and it's actually the mascara I'm wearing today. I really like this mascara. The only issue I have with it is sometimes it transfers onto my eyebrow, which is kind of interesting. Like, it does sometimes, and then I'm like, screw this. Like, I'm not keeping this mascara. And then sometimes it doesn't. So I'm like, kind of confused, like, why it's doing that. Like, what's up with the formula? So I will keep you guys posted on how I feel about that. And then I did pick this palette up too from the Macy sale because it was just so cute. And I was so interested. This is the Too Faced sugar cookie palette and this is what it looks like it's actually again another one of those like mm, could go either way i thought it looked cuter online so i have not made my made up my mind about this palette just yet i haven't even used it but it smells <laughs> delicious like you definitely want to eat it so good for Too Faced for getting me to buy all this stuff because this is not me usually when it comes to Too Faced. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is Kathleen Light's Fall Collection. She came out with this, it's called uh, Fall in the City, I think. And there's six shades. I'm really loving her nail polish formula. So we have this shade, which is called Yizma, and it's a beautiful purple with like a hint of gold duochrome. This shade is cute. It's called Cafe Disco. It's like a coffee shade with silver glitter. It's like a really nice nude. And then I have this shade, which is called Jane, and I love this color. I think it's so fall, and this shade is gorgeous as well. It's called Peanut Butter. It's actually the shade on my thumb. I just swatched all of these for fun today because I just got this order. And then I got one, four, three, five. I basically bought the whole collection, and then this is Medusa, which is like these two fingers, and everyone's been raving about this color. It's like a beautiful gold green shift like a teal shift so I love her nail polish I think I basically made up my mind that I am not gonna buy any other nail polish brand because her nail polish just lasts really well on my nails and so I'm like why should I support anyone else's brand when these ones work for me so at some point in time if they stop working for me I won't continue to support her but I really like the quality of her nail polish and if you guys are interested in seeing what the shades look like on my actual fingers and my skin tone. I did start a highlight on my Instagram page, which is Karen Harris Makeup. And basically, anytime I wear a new color, I'll just show you guys what it looks like on my nails and tell you what color it is in case you guys are interested in purchasing from her. Um, I just thought it would be fun because I'm really, really enjoying her nail polish at the moment. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is this Jade Roller from Herbivore. So I actually did a Herbivore haul a while ago, and I picked up their Jade Roller. And they actually revamped it because of customer complaints and things like that. The old one, it's in my, like, declutter slash empties. Okay, guys, now on to the fun stuff. I did pick up palettes as per usual. This technically should be in my October haul, but like I said, I bought a bunch of stuff. I want to get it all put away so I can continue on with my merry existence. And this is the Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. Now, I didn't think I would buy this. For 25 bucks. I was really curious to see, like, what had happened with her formula because I know she's constantly formulating and reformulating and, 
you know, it's like one, one formula comes out on a Wednesday and then there's a new formula on a Thursday and it's like very, very complicated. So I just thought, you know what, this was the first like mini palette that really spoke to me and I was like, sure, I'll get it. And I love the concept of getting less product for less money. The only thing about this that really bothers me is there's no like warm crease shade for my skin tone. So I feel like the shimmers are nice and warm and then there's this like brown brown shade that looks like I've put like dirt in my eye. So because of that reason, I'm actually not really very happy with this. I actually broke down and bought the gold palette. <laughs> I don't know why it just I was like ooh neutrals have really been calling to me lately now the next things I picked up are these guys from Huda Beauty oh my gosh I've had so much fun playing with these and I must say I've managed to make some really good looks I pretty much used each palette once and I don't know if I should do like a first impression on these and then do a review like months from now when I've worn these multiple times because it is hard like I've worn some of the shades you know but to get through every single shade I mean there's nine shades in each of these so it's gonna take me a while plus I'm testing like multiple other palettes they're so cute and then she came out with five and I picked up four I didn't want the topaz one because I was like you know what that's a little basic I have those shades so I picked up the more um, and then I picked up the soul tree palette this is the new ABH holiday release and it's actually the palette I have on my eyes today I've worn this palette twice so far and as per usual ABH knocked it out of the park with the shimmers the only thing I don't like about this palette I feel very confused because I feel like the shimmers are very warm tone and then for mattes I only feel like there's two warm tone mattes like this bloom shade and this birch shade which are gorgeous but then twig dystopia slate and noir are all like well one's a black and then everything else is cool tone so I feel like it's kind of odd because I feel like all the shimmers are warm and then the mattes are cool so they look like right now I love the shimmer on my eyes but the shades I had to use in the crease suck so I'm like Ugh. like why didn't you just make this a warm palette or they should really commit it and throw in some cool tone shades because the shimmers are beautiful but I swear to god I feel like these are all like warm tone and the packaging is gorgeous but this palette is just confusing the heck out of me because these are what most of the shimmers are like. They're really beautiful, like warm shimmer shades. I think those shades would pair so well with the Soft Glam palette, the mattes in that, or even the Modern Renaissance. Okay, the next palette I did pick up is the Gingerbread Spice palette. So I've used this one a few times as well. I'm like on the fence about this. I feel like it's a good palette for Too Faced, but I'm not 100% convinced. I feel like some of these shimmers are like very dark so I feel like they gave us some really light mattes and then like these very jewel toned shades and I wish they had done more like mattes to go with the shades like this like I wish they'd done a matte berry well they kind of did over there but it's like I don't know it's I'm not sure I love this yet I feel like it could have been a little bit better but this duochrome shade is beautiful so I don't know I'm still on the fence about this I need to wear it more but I have it and I will definitely review it for you guys so hopefully in a timely manner but it's a beautiful fall palette Too Faced definitely has me shook this holiday season and then last but certainly not least I wasn't gonna buy this okay let me just say I wasn't gonna buy it but then I watched Samantha Ravidal I think is her name's video and she was talking about how she could like blend these shades and I'm really loving the I Love Sarah E collection with dose and so I was like you know what I'll just buy it and try it out see I did wait for it to come to Ulta in case I like really really hated it I could return it um but yeah it's beautiful and I'm excited to play with it so yeah that is the last thing I picked up and I actually picked it up this week so technically it should be in October but like I said I'm ready to get all this stuff put away and get into testing i have definitely trying to catch up still I've uploaded some older collection reviews and hopefully you guys don't mind because for me I feel like I really want to you know test things out very thoroughly before I give you like a final review so hopefully you guys are enjoying that content and thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this haul please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will catch you in my next one 
Bye, guys. <laughs>